Hello, Master Tanaka. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening to everyone who is listening to us here. Good evening to our ever-present Archangel Michael and all this great brotherhood which includes several groups. Everyone here willing to transmit the best energies to all who listen to us. Well, Master, we beings of light from the brotherhoods linked to the white brotherhood are learning so much not only transmitting the messages but also between us in this great egregor formed on the spiritual plane we are learning a lot amongst ourselves it is an interesting job today we would like to convey a message that concerns one of the greatest troubles of mankind, along with the questions of the ego, which are the questions related to forgiveness. Many people generate energy or transmit energy to each other because of events that occurred in the past, be it a distant past or a more recent one. These actions end up arousing negative feelings for both the guilty one and the victim of the particular action. Both are impaired in terms of energy. When a negative event occurs and people see it in a negative way, there is a bad, a low vibration energy formation that affects everyone involved, the guilty one, the victim, and the witness. All the people involved receive or maintain that low energy, and that happens over a very long period. Evidently, the greater the proportion of the action, the more negative the energy is and the longer period of time it remains. Sometimes it remains even for a lifetime. During a whole life, the person generates negative energies because of that fact, because of that action. And that action is remembered repeatedly in the minds of the people involved. And these thoughts, each time they are remembered, generate a negative energy, perhaps not as great as originally upon the act during the action, but they generate negative energies and they keep on generating them. Every time the person thinks about that act, that action, it awakens, it generates that negative energy that is awfully bad for those who are remembering and bad for the people involved because it generates, it has the ability to generate this energy and send this energy to other people. Therefore, Guilt, resentment, anger, do not allow people to rise, do not allow people to evolve. People stay anchored in these negative energies. For you, special human beings, who seek spiritual elevation, we say that it is of utmost importance that forgiveness is applied. When we say forgiveness is applied, both you who are the victim and you who are to blame must apply forgiveness. You must forgive and you must ask for forgiveness. Everyone who feels these negative feelings is influenced by bad energies. By low energies. So it is necessary 
my dear special human beings, that you get rid of these issues. Forgive what should be forgiven. Ask forgiveness for what should be forgiven. Forgive yourself for making mistakes. Little by little, you will see the supreme importance of these issues related to forgiveness. It is as if you want to take a long walk on a long road, carrying weights on your back. Sometimes weights even larger than your own bodies. Therefore, we ask each of you, my dears, to reflect on the question of forgiveness, to reflect on what you should forgive and what should be forgiven. You must understand that no matter how seriously a person may have made a mistake, the anger you feel, the hatred you feel, the negative feeling also harms you harms you as much as it harms the offender. So, if you want to evolve, it is necessary to get rid of this weight. It is necessary to be lighter for the great journey in search of evolution. It is necessary to put the weight aside for this long walk. The lighter the easier your journey will be. Often, people end up carrying huge weights for not knowing how complicated, how bad it is to carry this pain, anger, resentment and guilt. As human beings become aware of these issues, Surely, people will begin to seek to resolve their conflicts, both internal conflicts and conflicts with other human beings. When people start to understand how harmful it is to carry these negative energies, then people will start to watch over their thoughts, their guilt, their anger, and stop conflicting. People will seek more harmonious relationships, relationships with less conflict, with less negative actions, so that it is no longer necessary to forgive or to ask for forgiveness, but rather to be vigilant before acting. There is a great need for human beings to pray for forgiveness, to say the prayer for forgiveness that Master Tanaka had the great opportunity to channel this prayer directly from our beloved Mother Mary. It is important, Master, that this prayer is spread as well as our messages. And it is important that you, human beings, say this prayer Pray for your forgiveness and forgive. The prayer for forgiveness is especially important because it not only asks for forgiveness for the experiences of this life, but also for the things that have been done in other lives. Many times, the human being lives a life full of good energies, a peaceful, tranquil life, and even so, he faces these low energies of anger, hatred, sorrow. But many times they are actions that were committed in other lives, and all this negative energy can come from people or beings that are not on the material plane but on other planes. That is why it is necessary to perform the prayer for forgiveness with all your heart, with every feeling, asking not only for forgiveness for the things done in this life, 
but also for the things done in past lives. So yes, it is necessary to ask for forgiveness even for what one does not know to have happened. The prayer for forgiveness made with a full-hearted feeling will touch these beings from other planes who still have sorrows, who still feel the anger. These beings will be touched by these prayers and will certainly understand the situation and will raise their energies by forgiving. Therefore, our beloved human beings, we ask you to make this reflection and to start these prayers. Master Tanaka, we believe that the message was passed on properly. I appreciate the presence of everyone. Have a great week. So be it, so it is. Thank God.